Hey Deckers, we finally got Steam OS 3.5 in the stable channel. Yes, as you can see here, I am running the full stable version and we have version 3.5.5 officially available. And you should know the release notes from all of our updates over the past few months. But just as a recap, we have now finally got some of the great features that we've been waiting for in stable. One of which being the color vibrancy updates which if you are using something like Vibrant Deck on Decky Loader, then this is now built in. However, we have to go and fiddle with it slightly. We now have HDR and VRR support, although I'm still not able to seem to get VRR working. So let us know if you manage to figure that one out, as well as new in scaling access options for stretch and zoom scaling. Apparently they fixed the touchscreen orientation going to portrait when you have external screens. So that should be nice as well as fixing the SMT issue when there was major performance issues, unless you disabled SMT manually. I know a lot of people were really looking out for that one. Of course, we've got Steam Deck OLED support, which we'll come on to in a minute, as well as now external storage devices should auto mount automatically, unless you're still using our auto mount script and then that won't make much difference to you. Massive improvements on new graphics drivers and obviously it's rebased with the new firmware. So this should all be running super smooth for you. And a lot of games that weren't working very well before should now work a lot better. Now with the color vibrancy settings, if you don't know where they are, come into the display options. You'll see that we have this adjust display colors. This will usually give you a preview of the screen. I'm not quite sure why it's not working for my game here, but you can go from standard sRGB version. Native is really pretty much where it was originally. sRGB is much better. I'm probably not gonna see it so much directly on the capture here. This makes a huge difference on the actual screen itself. You can see from the overlay, we've got our new overlay with a horizontal layout for the second tier, which gives us the frames per second over on the left, as well as our battery usage and frames per second and everything. We also have the new combined frame limit and hertz, but because I'm on a external screen, I can control the refresh rate separately. Well, we've got the HDR support. This does support HDR. My screen does support VRR, and I am connected by USB-C to HDMI, so I'm not entirely certain what the exact conditions under VRR are but it's really annoying to try and figure this one out. I don't know anybody who's managed this yet. So if you have figured it out, please let us know in the comments below so we can give it a try. See that we have our scaling filter options. We have tons here now. So this will help with some of those older games that didn't scale too well. And we have some new layouts in soundtracks. One of the other additions, if you didn't know about it, is in the customization option. There is actually now a ton more startup movies. So if you don't have this already built in, uh, you can pick these up from the point stores. There is some great new game versions that dropped ready for the OLED screen. We've got the Elden Ring version, Hades, Vampire Survivors, Dead Cells, Persona 5 Royale. And these are really cool. I really like the Hades one that drops in here. Uh, and I have these set on random as well. I do love the uh, original turret factory version as well. So every time I wake and start my deck, I get a nice random intro movie. These are awesome, go check them out. So just a friendly reminder, if you are changing back branches for the UMA buffer, you will need to reset that as changing branches does reset the, the frame buffer. But if you are playing Red Dead Redemption 2, you do want to keep it at the one gig because otherwise, as soon as you go anywhere near water, you are going to get that 30 frame limit. As you can see, it's kicked in there. It was at 40 to 50. But because I'm approaching water, which is actually further than you think it is, I get that 30 frames per second cap. So just be aware of that. If you are playing Red Dead Redemption 2, this is still an issue uh, if you use that 4 gig UMA buffer. In case you missed it with all the hype, Steam Deck OLED did launch yesterday. However, there was a ton of issues trying to order this. If you were lucky and you managed to get one after all of the stress, then congratulations. If you're still thinking about it, believe it or not, there is actually still stock available and you can still pick these up with around a six to 10 business day shipping on the LED models. And that's both the 512 and the one terabyte models. Currently there is still some availability on the special edition, but that's only available for US and Canada and is also capped at the one terabyte model with the anti-glare as well. So if you are looking for the non-anti-glare version, 
they are still available. So let us know if you managed to pick up one of the OLED models and what you think of all of the updates so far. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.